Hi everybody. Well, as you can see, I have some crazy crap going on on my crafting table tonight. If you ever wondered what the inside of my brain looks like, this would be it. It's, it's insane. I got so much Christmas crap going on, it's unbelievable. But, tonight, I'm going to clear some of this out of here because I'm going to be doing a Christmas, well, it's a thank you basket for my friend Justin. Uh, he wants to give it to a lady he goes to church with. And it's kind of Christmas themed, but, you know, it's a thank you gift at Christmas time. So, uh, got this little mesh basket from the Dollar Tree. And I had some white tissue paper on, on hand, so I put that down in there. <laughs> I had some of this Christmas garland with these little silver snowflakes on it. Um, got that last year. So, I had it on hand. I used... One pack of that to stuff it, and I had these bows left over from last year, too. So, that was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So, that's what we're going to do. And, for starters, on this one, I have this Christmas mug from the Dollar Tree. And all I did with this was, I'm not going to disassemble this. I, I pre-assembled this to make sure everything would fit in here. See what I, I could get in here. Uh, I don't want to disassemble this because I'll probably screw it up when I try to reassemble it. But I have two packs of Swiss Miss in there. I put a little snowflake sticker on it. Um, got these from the Dollar Tree, these little peppermint spoons. I think if I remember right, you get six in a pack. I had some mini marshmallows from Walmart. I put them in a little sachet bag from the Dollar Tree. And I just stuffed the bottom part with some uh, Hershey Kisses peppermint. And then put a couple on the top. So I want to put that in there first because I love, I think I said in another video, how much I love these snowflake mugs. I think they're just so beautiful. And I do want some of these little silver snowflakes hanging down so we're going to try to try to make sure that I don't disturb that too much all right then <coughs> I'm gonna normally I start from the back to the front but I want my mug in there first because that's gonna kind of describe or determine I should say where the place of my, of my other stuff is going to be <coughs> I dropped a jingle bell hang on I dropped my jingle bell. I'm going to need that here in a minute. So then last year I got this Valentine's teddy bear. I got it on sale. It was like 70 cents. It was on clearance. And I picked up a pack of this Merci because it is, you know, that's French for thank you. And this is a thank you gift basket. Then what I did on this, I had to be a little creative on this, was I used a white zip tie, or a, not zip tie, fuzzy tie. And I hot glued it down. And then, once that dried, I put the teddy bear on there and then hot glued it down into there. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. But that holds that teddy bear into place on there pretty good. Because this is going to... The whole idea about this is it's a thank you basket. So when I saw these Mercies, Mercedes, have you pronounce it as French. I don't know French. I was like, uh, yeah, going to do that. So... We're going to put that in there and put his cute little red and white bow tie in there. <laughs> I, love, I love that so much. Let's see if you guys see that better. Oh, so cute. All right. Then I got from the Dollar Tree a pack of these Coastal Bay Confections Hard Candy. This, these colored candies don't go with anything in my basket, so I want to make sure that I'm going to hide this so you can't see it, or so she can't see it, as best as what I can. So let's tuck that behind the mug. We don't want that really visible. We don't want all those multicolors visible. We don't need that in this. But I do want the blue and the white of the package to show because that ties in with all the colors. You know me, I'm all about the color scheme. Um, 
Justin said that she likes crosses, candles, and Bibles. So, I uh, picked up this candle from the Dollar Tree. It had a gold lid on it. I threw it away. And then I put some little snowflake stickers around it. Just to make it more festive. And I'm going to drop that down into the front there. May not be able to see that too much. We're going we're gonna to angle that a little bit if we can because I, I really kind of want that visible because it's cute. Okay. A uh, little dollar pack of Lindor, what, Lint? Lindor truffles. You only get like three of these things for a dollar at Walmart. This is not a good deal. Seriously, this is not a good deal. The only reason I bought it is because the blue. So, oh, crap, I dropped that too. But if you're going on the cheapo, don't buy these. This is not a good bargain. Because it's like 33 cents for a little ball that big of truffles. This is just it's crazy. Not a good deal at all. But it looks good with the baskets, so that's what I was going for. Okay, now he also said she likes Bibles. I said that. So I got this from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, it was last year sometime. I picked up a few of these. I thought they would come in handy at some point, and now it does. So I want that to kind of be visible too. Because this is a woman he goes to church with. So I think she'll like that Bible. It's cute. And then that's the main part of the basket. Push those down a little bit more. Do some repositioning. Okay. So then, because I have a little bit of these multicolors showing in this hard candy crap, I'm going to try to cover that a little bit with this little Krispy Kringle Santa Claus. Okay. Cute. Candy canes, of course. At Christmas time, candy canes. I kind of want that one going down there, too. <laughs> Crap, I got blue paint on that. I was painting. You'll see why here in a minute. I want to get my blue paint off of that. My fingers have blue paint on them also. Oh, well. I kind of want those like about that. All right, looking good. See if you guys can see that halfway decent. All right, then we just start packing in some filler. I got a package of York peppermint patties for the holidays for I think it was $2.98 at Walmart. They come in red and green packages. So, just gonna start putting them in there. Now what I did do was, these, these have jagged edges, much like the uh, hard candies. Anything you get with jagged edges on it, you wanna kinda cut those off. It looks classier when you do it that way. Looks a little bit more cleaner, more defined, more professional. And I think maybe one more back down there just to kind of fill that in a little bit. All right. Um, I also had some of these picks from the Dollar Tree. They're Christmas picks. They're little white, I don't know, chrysanthemums or something. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty. So I'm going to just slide those down into there. I don't want to cover up too much with these. These are just for filler. 
and well I shouldn't just say just for filler because they're not they flowers always make things look prettier So cute. Um, I also have a little silver pick. I think this one might have been from Walmart for 98 cents. And I think I want to try to tuck that back down there a little bit. Like, oh, those flowers. I might have to put some foam down there. Get my tag off the back of my basket. I almost forgot about that. Alright. That's what we got so far. Looks cute. Let's see if I can get my lighting a little bit better. Alright. I think I like that except for these flowers keep falling down. So I may have to stick them in a piece of foam. Where did I had a little piece of foam cut just in case I needed it. Let's see if I can get that down into there. Sometimes when you're doing these gift baskets, you got to do some playing around. I tried to pre-assemble this to make sure, you know, see what all I could fit in there. And uh, it took me like an hour to do. Just pre-assembling and playing around with it to see what I could do with this. And what I needed to do, like with getting this teddy bear to stick up there using the fuzzy tie, little white fuzzy tie. Okay, so now I've got foam down there. I was hoping I wouldn't have to use that, but I did. Shut that down a little bit more. Reposition the flowers. Do some bending. Pretty well satisfied with that, I think. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not satisfied with that because I'm still screwing with it. Okay, all right, that looks cute. Let me show you guys that. All right, so back up, adjust my camera a little bit. Okay, now it's just a matter of dropping this into a gift bag and putting a bow on it because that looks cute. I don't think there's anything more I want to do with that. So from the Dollar Tree, I got one of these shrink wrap cellophane bags. I'm not going to shrink wrap it because I do have chocolates in there and I, I don't want to apply my blow dryer to it and melt the chocolates. Alright, we're going to be a little noisy here while I figure out what I'm doing and opening up this bag. Hopefully this doesn't rip. Get that out of the way. <laughs> it's so noisy. Sorry. I can't help it. It's a bag. Now when you get to place this into a bag, any gift basket you're doing into a bag, you're going to have to reach down in there and do some more rearranging because your stuff will get dislodged. There's just no way around that. Not that I found anyway. I think this thing weighs about 10 pounds. It feels like about 10 pounds. This is the hardest part is putting the dang bag around everything. 
because stuff will shift around. And you don't want to rip your bag and have to redo it. All right, so far so good. And the shifted. Might put one more candy right there because it, uh, ah, where my candies go? I don't know where my candies go. Maybe I won't put another candy down there. I don't know where they went to. Right. Right. I'm going to gather that up. I'm going to leave this a little looser than what I would normally do because these flowers, I don't want them to bunch up on themselves. And I want everything to be visible uh, as far as the flowers and the teddy bear goes. Hang on there, Mama. No, I'm just asking a question. Yes, of course I'm going to feed the dogs tonight. Put the fire on that. That's a little wonky. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's just the way the bag is. That'd be all right. It's just a deformed bag or something. I don't know. So, next up is out of some ribbon I got from a thrift store for a dollar. I used the whole spool, and then I just made this bow, and, uh, I had a pack of bells from the Dollar Tree, and I just went ahead and attached one there. Got some little twisty ties there, and what I'm going to try to do then is, you know, first I think, let me go back a step. No, no, yeah, let me go ahead and do the bow. Let's put the bow on this next. I keep having to adjust my camera. Gosh. So let's see if this tie I have on here will fit around there decently. It might be too short. I might have to go back to something else if I can't get my bow to work good. So this is going to be a close. This is going to be a tight fit. Please work. Might have to come up with something else to get this bow to fit on there. Because that's going to be. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. If not, I've got to come up with something else. Possibly a fuzzy tie on the bow. I'm not sure yet. Oh, no, I got it. Hey, I got it. Ah ha. Yay, I'm so happy. Yay, I'm so happy I got that to work. I'm not real good at making bows. You guys know this about me. 
But I think that looks cute. I do want that teddy bear shell, so I'm going to try to adjust this maybe over to cover the flowers a little bit. Oh, God, that looks good. Okay, so because this is a thank you gift, um, I want to put a little thank you sign on it. That's about the best I could do, a little 77 cent piece of wood that I painted and then I freehanded thank you with a paint pen. We're going to see if this is going to work. This may not work. I don't know. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to worry about it too much because this is another little short piece. Now, it kind of doesn't, I don't know, it kind of doesn't match the bow. Hmm, maybe I'm going to leave that off. You know what? I think I'm going to leave that off. I don't I don't think I want to put the thank you sign on there. Let's see though if maybe well I don't know, that might look okay down around there. My blues don't really match to get that might look okay like way down there. Let us see if I can do something with the sign. If not, I'm not gonna sweat, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Uh, maybe I'll just put, you know what, I'm not even going to put thank you on there. Let me find my jingle bells. Uh, jingle bell around here. Nah, you know what, we're going to call that good. He can attach a thank you note to it or whatever he wants to do to it. I think that looks good enough the way it is. Sometimes less is more. And I do want to, I think, kind of... Tape that back a little bit. Not really digging that weird little flap thing sticking out there. Let's see if I got some clear tape to put on there or something. I don't know. What can I put on there? I'm gonna find some masking tape. I was wrapping presents earlier, so let me get my tape. I find my tape. Can't find my tape. Oh my god. Okay, I can't find my tape because I was wrapping presents earlier and my kitchen table is a mess. So that's what we're going to have. When I find my tape, I'll probably tape that back like that and call it good. But there's what you're going to have. And that looks really super cute. Nice little thank you gift basket. And I hope you guys can see that. My lighting is so crappy. Let's try that. Let's try that. See what we get. So it's pretty good. Pretty inexpensive to do. It does take some time to do to assemble this. Like I said, when I was doing this, it took me like an hour just to pre-assemble, figure out where I wanted everything to go, what all I could fit into here, and uh, all things that he told me that she likes, like the Bible and the chocolates and candles. So. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me tonight while I do this gift basket for a friend's friend. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.